How's it going, Gray Boys? It is week one of this 2022 season, and this year is either going to go really, really well for us or really, really badly. Right off the bat, I got to thank everybody who has joined the channel as a tier two member and up, thereby uh, allowing them to rename some of the recruits that we picked up last season. For this year, right now, it's Avery Binkley, the free safety at 80 overall. He's our backup free safety at the moment, but he is third string as a corner, so we should see him on the field quite a bit. And Chris Rutger is going to be our new freshman wide receiver. Local Michigan kid, really quick. Hopefully, we can see some big highlights out of him this year. Now, if you guys don't remember, we have probably one of the hardest schedules in college football this season. We start against UCF, where we are favored to win. Uh, but I just don't know. I think our offensive line has me a little bit concerned. And if we just take a look, we play number 17 UCF week one. Week two is on the road at number three Auburn. Then on the road at number two Clemson. Then on the road at number 21 Minnesota. Then we host a number 23 Iowa. We get a little bit of a breather after the first five weeks with a bye. And then it's hosting number one Michigan. So definitely not going to be an easy season. Uh, there's a number seven Ohio State. Thankfully, kind of like last year, the back of our season is a little bit easier. So if we can make it through the beginning, we will definitely set ourselves up for maybe a playoff appearance this year. Before we get into our game, let's do a little bit more recruiting. Uh, remember, we have Fang's recruiting generator running on this dynasty now. So there's going to be some incredible talents like Christian Grimmel. Uh, He's 92 overall Juco guard. I don't think we're going to get him, but you never know. Uh, it just really all boils down to bonus points and how hard other teams decide to go after these guys. But for now, let's just keep scouting these guys that we have on the board and see if we have any other gems. Well, four in, there's no good news. How about Joe Fox? There's our first gem, 74 overall for the corner. Uh, you know, that's pretty solid. Maybe these days with the new, uh, you know, recruit ceiling, it's not quite as good, but we would definitely be fine with a guy like this. And there's another one, Robert Blake Jr. The tackle goes up to a 73. These aren't huge gems, but any gems are good in my opinion. And right after him, Kendall Malone, another offensive lineman, goes up to 73. Our offensive line is so bad, these guys honestly would be pretty useful. But I'm hoping that we can kind of get some of those really, really good players. Only a couple of players left to scout. And nothing all too crazy. A lot of the guys down here at the bottom of the board were just because they liked us. But right off the bat, we're going to just kind of give a ton of points to anybody who's really, really good. I mean, if we could get the number one center and the number four guard and, I don't know, the number eight guard all onto the team, that would change everything for us. So just based off of points, I've given almost everything to offensive linemen with one defensive end sprinkled in there. I want to just get off right away on this season to see if we can jump out with any good offensive linemen. That's obviously the biggest area of need for this team. So if we can fix that, I mean, just looking at the grades, we're not great all over the place, but tackles a D minus, guards a D, centers a D minus. So that is, it's not good. A lot of guys that we will definitely need to replace this year. 12 seniors and 18 juniors, but 23 freshmen. So we're a relatively young team, but we will definitely have a lot of guys that we will want to replace this season. All right. Well, with all of that being said, let's get this game underway. Let's get this season underway. We are a 79 overall up from, I think, a 77 last year, a 79 offense and 80 defense. And UCF on the other side, also a 79 overall, but an 83 offense and a 78 defense. So both teams pretty similar, but I don't know. I just feel like they're going to have the edge. It really just depends on what our defense can do this season. And UCF has the space uniforms, and I would be foolish not to put them in one of these two combinations. Personally, I like the 2019 one a little bit better. Uh, and it's an all-white uniform, so it kind of fits us in a way. But just like the side of the pants there kind of looks like a rocket ship. And the helmet is like the moon. I think that just looks better. So that's what we're going to have UCF wear. And for us, we'll just go standard home to open up the season at home against a team that was in the playoffs last year. So as we load into this game, uh, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy the content and you want to help support the channel, please 
quickly scroll down and hit the like button. It would mean a ton. Our top players this year, up into the mid 80s. Maurice is an 85 overall. Jody Gentry an 83. And Devin Royal, I think that's his first name. He's an 83. So two offensive players and one on defense, but nothing, no big players. All skill positions. That's kind of worrisome. The top players for UCF, though, a uh, punter running back in a corner. So we will definitely see what happens with that one. I have no idea what to expect from our team here this season, but let's find out. Another year, another big day at Ryan Earson 2 as the gray field looking as good as ever. A late summer night. And UCF will call Tails. A smart decision. Tails never fails. So they win the toss, and we're going to be starting with the football. Gentle four-mile-an-hour breeze tonight. And we're going to have RJ Rivera back to return early in this one. A chance. Can he take us back to kick returners of old? We've seen guys be really good in the past. There's a mediocre return on that first attempt, but he seems promising. We have not had a lot of speedsters in this dynasty. So he's going to be a breath of fresh air, I think. And we're going to give him the ball. The first play from scrimmage for this season. Kind of cutting it back to the outside. RJ Rivera breaks some tackles and is out 21 yards. as His first carry as a gray boy. If that's what our offense can look like this season, playoffs, watch out. We might just shock a few teams. Let's see what Maurice can do through the air. I got to remember that he's got to warm up his passing. This is a risky throw over the middle, but we find Jeff Fontenot, and he holds on through the contact. I kind of forget that I have Seagators sliders on sometimes, and we almost got caught out there. I'm going to try to run this uh, edge play away from the defense and we'll see what RJ Rivera can do out towards the edge he picks up one block and cuts it back inside and oh my gosh we got a star on our hands here that's two carries for 38 yards for the true freshman as Derek Bentley will come in and we are gonna go with a little play action over the middle hey it's Rutger coming down with the ball and just like that another freshman getting involved that's first and goal for us UCF was in the playoffs. They're number 17 in the country, but they can't do anything to slow us down. Didn't really mean to hand that one off, so we're going to lose two yards. Bad read from me. I'm not going to let it damper the spirits, though. Man, last year I felt confident running it up the middle. This year we're changing things up a lot, and we're trying everything to the edge. RJ Rivera on the toss play. Can he get the block? He gets it, and he gets to the corner into the end zone. A nine-yard touchdown run. Gray boys on the board first, and RJ Rivera is something else. Ooh, big upset to start the season. Stanford takes out number six, TCU. Every single one of those upsets is definitely going to help us as Clark, our new kicker, puts it down, and he can't get it to the end zone, so that could cause problems. Decent-looking return. Now it's time to see what our defense is going to look like this year. This is the higher overall unit on our team, so if anything, we should expect them to be better. But we'll see what we can get. Quarterback's going to scramble early in this one and pick up four yards, but he did take a little bit of a hit. And UCF coming out in the hurry-up, so we're going to try to bring a little man blitz. No safeties on the play. Can we do anything? They step back to throw over the middle. Cotton Royal, it was him getting burned on the crossing route. Gave up a big chunk of yards, and it's going to be another first down. See if we could do anything. Kind of now expecting them to pass a lot, although this is going to be a jet sweep, isn't it? Waiting. It's a handoff, and we're there to stop it in the backfield. Justin Warren, nowhere to go. As he was given the ball in what kind of looked like it could have been a triple option. Split backs on this second 11. Going to be a handoff. Trying to go up the middle. Blocking. Pretty phenomenal. They're going to pick up seven. Just like that, we've got a third and four. We're going to see if we can get some pressure to this QB. Not feeling too confident. Stepping back to throw. Plenty of time. Throws it deep. Could be picked off, and it's green with the deflection, but he can't hold on to it. The good news for us is that UCF is out in the pump formation, but, man, I don't trust this at all. Could we see a fake fourth and four at midfield? They're going to give it to the punter. He's going to boot this one away, and we can just take a touchback. So that's easily going to bounce back into the end zone. Well, the defense certainly didn't look terrible. But who knows? Maybe UCF just doesn't have a good offense. Uh, we're going to come out second time. 
on offense in this game. Running the football. RJ Rivera, a nice little spin move. Frees himself for another six yards. And I think that actually is his shortest gain of the day. I'm not sure if I read that wrong or not, but five carries for 51 yards and a touchdown already. Immediately, he's making a big impact. We're going to go play action. Second and four, waiting for it over the middle. A terribly inaccurate throw from Maurice Tate, and it's immediately intercepted. We were looking for Chris Rutger, but that one was nowhere near the wide receiver. Playing with, like, default sliders in the G12 Online Dynasty over on Twitch has made me forget that sometimes... Quarterbacks can't be perfectly accurate as they're going to hand the ball off for 11 yards. Curious how much of uh, our performance this season we can blame on Maurice going up two overall in the offseason. Not a good season or offseason for him at all. And we got a good stop there. And now second and nine coming out expecting the pass. Try to bring some pressure with Smith off the edge over the middle. They throw it and caught. And he's going to stand back up, but he got the forward progress. Alex Cummings. <laughs> six yards on that and now it's third and three fully expecting a run we'll see pinched up there's the handoff somebody's got to be there it's london and it's another fourth down but this time a little bit more go for it territory for the knights and that is absolutely the call on this fourth and two we're bringing everything i'm expecting a run if they don't run the ball i'll be pretty surprised out towards the edge quarterback Breaks the tackle and he's off to the races. This is going to be a touchdown for UCF. We went run commit, but we just couldn't seal the edge. John Cock ties the game up strong running from UCF's quarterback right there. No need for him to pitch that football away. So we had a couple of chances there to take the lead. Defense got one stop. Uh, we threw a pick and then the defense couldn't quite get the fourth down conversion as RJ Rivera. Ooh, another decent return there. I think maybe we just need to prioritize looking for a quarterback with really good throw accuracy this season. Who knows? First and 10, I'm going to step back and let Maurice continue to throw. He's got Chris Rutger over the middle. I did not throw it to him. I threw it to the X receiver, the one coming off the left side on the slant route, but inaccurate. We just happen to have a guy there. Not enjoying the way that that's going. Let's try a little a triple option. Derek Bentley, RJ Rivera. Maurice keeps it, gets the pitch out, and there's some blocking downfield. If we can pick up, oh, one more, we would have been fine. Tight end couldn't quite get there, though. Can't be too upset with a play like that, as it did put us across midfield. And Derek Bentley comes in for this counter play, handing it off to him, trying to outrun the linebacker, but he's just too quick. Dave Weddle able to make the tackle for loss. It'll be second 11. And we're looking for something. Play action, waiting. A is open. We get it to Chris Rutger, and he makes a guy miss. Stays on his feet, makes a cut, and he's still on his feet. And that's going to be a touchdown as the first quarter expires. 50 yards into the end zone, and the freshman skill position players are putting on a show so far today. Look at the nifty running on this one. Made a nice cut, ran in to another wide receiver. Another nice cut, stayed on his feet. And then nobody in front of him as we're going to take a 14-7 lead. Man, the big play potential of this team this year is incredible as uh, we could see another upset with the top 10. Wisconsin looking good there as we come to the end of this first quarter. 14-7 defense has put us in a spot to have a bigger lead, but we're not quite there. So we will, again, kick this one away. Not expecting this to be very deep, so a very returnable football. Question is going to be just, will we give up a, a big return at some point in this season? Can we maybe strip the ball? Oh, no. Tackle's still being broken. Uh, all that danger. They're still inside the 25, though. Let's see what we can do with our coverage. Coming out, still in the man. They're five wide, trying to get some sort of pressure to this quarterback, and he's going to have a man wide open. Tackles being shed all over the place. Logan can't get it. What is going on here? Jarrell Givens, 52 yards. Our man coverage is really spotty at this point. I think our linebackers are getting just torched. And just like that, first down, they're going to go on the hurry up, stepping back to throw. This one caught by Cummings. And that's going to be Cock to Cummings. Down to the one. That is really brutal. UCF just obliterating us at the goal line, handing it off. We're there for the stop, and it's Avery Rawls saving the touchdown for now. 
At this point, though, it is just big play after big play. Can we get the stop? Pressure up the middle. We hit him, but he falls into the end zone, and it's going to be 14 all. This has just been an insane game so far. And I don't know, man. Our defense had a couple of chances early, and we have not made the most of those yet. As that's a decent return from Jody Gentry. I am noticing something that's a little bit worrisome, and it is that RJ Rivera is a little bit low on stamina. So we'll get big plays out of him, but who knows how many in a game is he's going to have to spend a lot of time recovering on the bench. That run goes for nothing and really hurts his uh, yards per play, but not to worry. He's back in. We're going to step back looking to throw, and if we can get outside the pocket, we might just be fine. There he is wide open. We couldn't quite get it. The wheel route cheese was there, but just couldn't get the pass off in time. So just like that, third and very long for this offense. Derek Bentley's going to come in, and we'll see what we can do. I'm kind of looking at Jody Gentry. He's going to have the chance at the separation. No, I didn't like it. I don't like any of this, and I don't certainly don't like this, but we're throwing it downfield, and Jeff Fontenot just couldn't quite get to the football. Nothing about that made me feel confident in throwing the football, so we just kind of went with our gut on it, and it didn't work out. Oh my gosh, they almost blocked the kick as this one's going to bounce on down the sideline. No reason for us to touch it. All right, we can grab it now. 4.20 left in this half. Defense is getting... Uh, has been getting blazed so far in this game. We'll see what we can do. We're trying to bring pressure. Quarterback's keeping it. A designed run there. We do stop him at the line. And it's going to be a little bit of a zone blitz on this second down. Wouldn't be surprised. They're going to run the same play. This time, though, cock breaking tackles, and he'll slide down. He had a block there. We got lucky uh, just to give up eight yards. If they go three for three on that play, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. It looks like they're going to hand it off towards the edge. One tackle broken. Logan there to stand him up. Thankfully, the stiff arm cheeses to the side. It's a loss of two, and that's fourth and four. So it's their defense making a stop, and then ours making one immediately after that. As things have slowed down a little bit in this second quarter, they're going to punt this one away. And it's Rivera back to return. And I feel like he is going to be an insanely dangerous threat. Oh my gosh, he's quick. If he gets the corner, only the punter really to beat one man. Got to cut it back. RJ Rivera. Oh, not quite into the end zone. Stopped at the one yard line on his first punt return. And all that we need to do at this point is just hand it off to the fullback. That is brutal. Robertson getting the football up the middle. Got hit at the line, but he's able to power through. And just like that, we are able to strike back and retake our lead. This is a very, very interesting game so far. Uh, I'm curious to see how this plays out. If our defense can get a couple more stops, I feel really confident. But this is just back and forth right now. They ran it three times in a row on the last drive. And that's kind of how we were able to get them. So hopefully they don't do the same this time over the middle. Late to get there. We do get the stop early, but it's six yards. We'll step away from the zone for a second. Looking to run. I can see this as a counter. And no, they're going to hand it off. And look at that. The spin from the defensive line is there. Justin Warren met at the line of scrimmage. Nowhere for him to go on that one. And it's going to be another third down. And again, maybe a chance to get the stop. Avery Rawls trying to get some pressure. And there's a sack. John Cock dropped for a loss of four. I'm taking the timeout. We got 223 to maybe get into the end zone again, but who knows? Maybe we score too quick. RJ Rivera is back to return this punt, and he has been more than electric so far in this one, trying to get some blocks. And there we go towards the corner. Tackles almost being broken. That puts us almost in midfield on this drive. Man, it has been a while since I've been this excited to have a player so explosive on offense. We're going to give it to him up the middle. And he, just like that, he is so quick. If there's even a little bit of a gap, he's going to be able to exploit it. The question is, what can we do with this? Derek Bentley comes in, but we're going to run a play action, trying to look deep, and they jammed us up. X is kind of open. It's an inaccurate throw once again. Maurice Tate has made a couple of really nice throws, but he's just not quite there yet on this game. So it could be problematic as RJ gets four yards. 
And I'm really putting too much trust in Amoris here because we're looking to pass downfield. Things could go really well here, but they could also go horribly wrong. And I'm going to send Chris Rutger deep. Not really a deep safety to contend with him there. Oh my god. <laughs> or he's just threw that into the second row. Well, it's fourth and six. I don't know if we can necessarily run this, but we can't trust Maurice's arm. So we're going to try a slip screen and see what we can do. If it looks okay, which it does. RJ Rivera is quick enough. He gets to the line, but it's a turnover on downs. Just not quite enough. Needing another couple of inches. I liked the read. Just uh, not quite good enough blocking. So again, the offense... Uh, I don't know, you might call it a glass cannon. Seems like it's all or nothing. Either we score immediately or we get nothing at all. They're going to step back to throw. Whitaker dropped the interception. That looked like the easiest pick of his career. Playing in the man, you know, we could get burned on those out routes, but he was in perfect position for that one. And it looks like they're going to go five wide and step back to pass. Trying to run Whitfield, gets the tackle, gets credited with the sack, and it's third and long. Just can't allow them to pick up anything big on this one. We know the pass is coming. We just don't want to give up that first down. Is Who knows? They're burning the clock a little bit here. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run the football. Uh, but we're prepared to take a timeout after this one. I mean, we've shown we only need a couple of seconds to score a touchdown. So if we can force them to punt the ball away, it's definitely in our favor. They will step back looking to throw. And over the middle, too many guys open. I was too busy defending the corner out that was also wide open. So UCF, after the big play, takes a timeout. They've got the light of fire skill active now, and they're going to be trying to look for some points. Don't want them to tie it up. They get the ball to start the third quarter. Cock having a scramble. They're going to take their second timeout after the five-yard sack. Well, let's get a little bit risky here. Trying to jam these guys up at the line, seeing if we can bring some pressure. Smith getting a little bit of a run on the quarterback. Uh, and, well, we did okay there. They're, I'm going to take a timeout. It's third and six. I don't know. I think maybe the clock would have burned out there. But, again, these guys are one of five on third down so far. So we could have a decent chance of getting the stop here, especially if we can force Cock to scramble again. Pressure's coming, and we're going to hit him before he can even think about throwing the football. Take the last timeout. It's fourth and a mile. And if we're sending RJ back to return this, you know we still have a chance of scoring points at the late stage of this half. They are going to punt the football away. Smart decision to them. They don't have a good punter. And this is oh so dangerous. RJ, if there's no penalties, could do a lot of damage here. Trying to weave his way downfield. And there's the flag as the clock expires. No harm, no foul if we didn't get into the end zone anyways. Receiving. Uh, not the end of the world. No reason for them to accept or decline that one as we are done with this first half. Up a touchdown? I don't know. Could be better. Could be a lot worse. I want to know down in the comments right now. You've seen one half of football from this new squad. What is the ceiling for this team? Are we a playoff team? Are we a national championship team? Or are we going to get beat down? Uh, I mean, we play the number one, two, and three teams in the country. Do we have a shot in any of those matchups? Let me know again down in the comments. And if you haven't already, please help support the channel. Hit the like button. And let's just get on with this game. See what we can do in this second half. We are up a touchdown as we'll boot this one away. Didn't get all of it. And with a kicker with a weak leg, they're going to get a decent chance at good field position. And yeah, that's what it looks like. A 23-yard return. Puts them near the 30. And we'll open this half up with a little zone blitz. See if we can get Logan in there. It feels like it's going to be that triple option. Trying to guard the edge. They run it to the other side of the field. And this one could be big. More slows him down enough. We get the tackle, but we give up 15 yards. That seemed like uh, a really, really solid run to me. Is they're going to step back. This is a slip screen. I can't use her properly there. We're lucky to only give up two. We got stuck on uh, block on that one, so didn't have the opportunity to get there and break the play up. This one to run out towards the edge. Need a big tackle. Green stands him up after shedding the block, and it's third and four. So what can we do to slow these guys down? Big third down, stepping back. Quarterback all the time in the world. He's stepping up in the pocket. That one's deflected. He could have just walked across the first down marker, but elects to throw it instead. And again, it's going to be RJ Rivera back to return. And if you are UCF's punter, you are getting so tired of having to kick to this guy. 
Especially because he doesn't have the leg necessarily to put that into the end zone, and I wish that RJ would have stayed under that. I think that we could have gotten past the 20. Regardless, we take the touchback, and it's time for the offense to see if maybe we can extend the lead. We have not been able to get past seven points, and... Well, another first down, loss of one. 10 carries for RJ for 79 yards. We're going to give him carry number 11 here on a little bit of a counter. The blocking was weird. He got the one yard back, puts him at 80, but it's third and mile. It's kind of crazy to me how quickly this offense started and how much we've slowed down since there. We'll see if Riker can get off the block. This could be big. Otherwise, we'll just be looking for something. I just got to try to get rid of it and nothing doing. Man, they brought pressure and they brought it quick. And there's our bad offensive line getting burned. Plays like that are what have me a little bit worried for when we go up against the really good teams that we face this season. Is, man, they're getting some good pressure on those punts. And this one, well, we'll let it cheese down to almost the 40, but they had us punting from our own end zone there. Well, this is incredibly risky. We're bringing the house on this one, seeing what we can do. It's going to be a counter. We should be there to get the stop, but they got five yards before we could find them. If nothing else, at least we're getting to see a, a well-fought battle as this one's going to be a handoff. We're there with Lindsay to get the stop after just a gain of a yard. And I'm not too worried about getting burned deep here, honestly. So we're going to bring Royal up and see if we can stop what I'm expecting to be a run. No, they step back looking to throw. It's short of the line, but he's able to get it. We had guys there just unable to pull him down in time. I've definitely been impressed, though, with this UCF offense. Better than our defense as we blitzed up the middle and there was nowhere for them to go. I definitely do realize the irony in saying that their offense has been better than our defense when we're winning the game and we just stopped them for a loss of three. But regardless, let's just... Uh, okay, well, see, that's why I said what I said earlier. Royal with a huge open field tackle prevents that from becoming a first down and more. And I don't like to do this, but I'm going to again continue to use her Smith off the defensive end here. We pressed up the coverage. Pressure was getting there. He dropped the football and it's fourth down. So for now, we stay alive and we'll see what we can do trying to do anything. It looks like a mid-screen and we're there to deflect it. I was really late to react to what was happening. But the wide receiver mid-screen was perfectly covered by green. Quarterback should have never thrown that football. It's UCF's first turnover on downs and we're looking for Rutger on a little screen of our own a little swing screen he's open for the catch if he can make a man miss we've already seen him do a lot with open space today and that's a good five yards the most important part of that play was that it allowed Maurice to get another completion and again every completion kind of helps up his confidence levels RJ nice little cut the nice spin move still on his feet RJ somehow turning that run into 20 yards that puts him at 100 on the day in just 12 carries seven first downs for us is pretty impressive considering we have 21 points try a little play action here rolling out a right bumper open we got to throw the short one it's complete Robertson can't stay in bounds but it is another first down for us and things are definitely starting to look real good on this drive the question is can we finish it off RJ yeah I thought about getting a little crazy with it but you just sometimes got to run out of defender and make them stop you Goodwin and Bentley in so a triple option on this one not going to be as quick as we would expect otherwise it will be handed off to Goodwin he's got some nice blocks and a first and goal how about that for a third string running back though as Rutger we're going to continue to involve him in this offense on the little jet sweep the blocking is good enough for him to find the end zone strung out the play long enough found the gap found the blocks and it's his second big touchdown of the day nine yards into the end zone to give us a 14 point lead late here in the third quarter man we might be able to see the backups play uh if we can just score one more touchdown i would love to get those guys as many reps as possible as man i'm not going to enjoy having to kick off to people every single week let's see what the defense can do on this one trying to stop any sort of running they're going to go out towards the edge and binkley makes it good tackle i think that might be his first for the freshman Definitely love to see plays like that. Feeling a pass coming here. They're going to put a man in motion, though. Could see this going to the running back, and it will. We shifted the line out to the right, but 
Actually, it works really well. We only give up a yard, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. They're going to try to get a playoff, but the clock's clicking down to zero. And that was a good third quarter for us. We only scored a touchdown, but the defense did pretty good, and man, that touchdown was electric. Fantastic drive. Defense playing well. One quarter to play, and we could knock off the first of so many ranked opponents this season. UCF just two of nine on third downs. as They're going to come out looking to convert on this one. Quarterback, plenty of time, and I don't know what happened there, but it was incomplete. Let's take a look. I feel like that might have been one where he threw it off of a defender. Oh, no, his hand just kind of got caught there, and then it spiked down. Well, that's a little bit glitchy from the game, but to be fair, if your quarterback's got the ball right here, it shouldn't be a completed pass anyways. Pump formation out once again, though, for UCF. Really, really unfortunate. They might have the better uniforms, but they certainly don't have the better team so far today. And again, just need like one or two blocks, and RJ Rivera could continue to work his magic. I'm just going to try to string that one out. <laughs> Ran about 30 yards to get four on that punt return. See if we can put these guys into submission with one more touchdown on this drive. Bentley in motion as we step back, looking to throw, and A is wide open if we can get it there. Rutger, could he come down with it in stride into the end zone? The freshmen are unstoppable this game. Absolutely phenomenal. Chris Rutger, I did not expect him to be this electric, but my oh my, is he having himself one hell of a debut. That was an incredible route on kind of a broken play there from Chris, but we got to give props to Maurice for making such an accurate throw so far downfield. I feel like that's a kind of a rarity for him. First and 10. Defense just really needs to make one more stop and we can burn the clock on this one. And oh my gosh, I just got torched so bad. I was expecting the in and he ran the out route. They're going to keep going with this hurry up, which means I'm probably going to continue to get beat through the air, which is fine. We can use these as times to practice the user a little bit. Quarterback outside the pocket, scrambling London. Oh, terrible missed tackle. And the quarterback's going to break a tackle, pick up 19 himself. We've certainly had the opportunities to get the stops, but we just haven't made the stops. Putting the defensive line in kind of a contain here, and that is a risky throw as they get out of bounds. When this UCF offense goes on this hurry up, man, they can be really, really dangerous, but we'll see if we can get some sort of stop pressure coming to the quarterback. He's trying to scramble, falling forwards his third and one. Lucky to get back to the line. And these guys are just like, go, 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 go. This might be one of the quickest hurry ups I've ever seen. Could be a triple option. Quarterback keeping it, takes some hits. He had the chance to pitch it, but he's going to lose two. That becomes the second tackle for loss for Avery Rawls as we're going to bring a lot of pressure on this one and see what we can do. It is going to be an option pitching it out. Jerron Johnson couldn't get the stop, but it's right forcing the turnover on downs. You know, Ron, we didn't necessarily expect you to make that tackle, but at least you slowed him down. And with that one, we can sub in the second stringers because this game is pretty much over. I understand that this move can kind of hurt our chances to stat pad for awards, but it allows other guys to get playing time. Helps us avoid any sort of transfers in the future. And who knows, maybe we could find some other superstars on this team. Derek Bentley gets eight yards up the middle. It's also kind of hard for me to tell Albert Johnson he's not allowed to play at all. After what he's done for us so many times, we're going to let him step back to throw, not expecting him to be accurate, eh? Yeah, well, that, that's why we're not expecting him to be accurate. Coming off the bench, his first throw was off by a mile. Third and two for the offense here. And the stats just popped up. We have not converted on a third down yet, so we'll see what Derek Bentley can do. We're running the Wisconsin power kind of towards the edge. I'm just going to cut it north. He breaks a tackle, breaks another one, still on his feet. How the heck did he turn that play into 10 yards? Well, that's certainly not something I expected to see. And we're going to get real crazy with it. This is probably going to be intercepted. But it's a flea flicker with one of the worst offensive lines in the nation. And we can't get it off. <laughs> I might have been able to scramble for a couple of yards. Dang it. That would have been hilariously awesome. Well, the good news is we uh, were able to continue to burn the clock. Not an incomplete pass. Just hand the ball off on this one. Bentley made a nice cut, but then I kind of ran him straight into a defender. 
And a first down here would certainly seal the deal for this game, but again, we have not been good in this situation, so we'll see what we can do if Albert can make a completion. Okay, Mike Tyler, 15 yards. Couple of no-names making plays. So that's pretty much going to do it unless UCF decides to take time out. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think we can do with this team because there are chances, massive sparks of electricity where if we can continue to harness those, we could win any game, I think. It's going to be the number 17 team in the country being beaten though. And every single win that we get gets us closer to those playoffs. Next week, I expect, and the week after that, and probably the you know next like five weeks after that will be more difficult than this one but at the end of it i certainly can't be disappointed we've got goodwin taking the final handoff up the middle it's gonna be a broken tackle and short of the line to gain that was almost another highlight play for the offense but that is going to do it for this season opener and we have a lot to be excited about big win for the program we needed that after the way last season got a little bit glitched out. And I don't know. I'm playing supremely confident right now. I'm sure that we're going to throw a lot more interceptions. But Maurice Tate, after the one that he threw, pretty impressive. Chris Rutker, first game in the uniform. Five catches, 143 yards, and touchdowns galore. He is going to be very, very fun to watch for the next few seasons. Uh, I certainly can't wait. At the end of it, though... UCF put up a good fight, but it just wasn't enough to stop all the big plays that we had. And we can start to use this to build momentum for the rest of the season. At the end of it, we come out with our 21-point victory. They actually had almost as many first downs as us. Uh, the fact that we only had 11 is pretty surprising to me, but 142 on the ground and 195 through the air. And we lost the turnover battle, so things looking pretty solid. Held them scoreless in the entire second half, which you love to see. Defensive player of the game is Clinton Whitfield with his two tackles for losses, two sacks. And for them, John Cock did okay. Tim Washington had the interception, but I don't know. Nobody stacks up to what Chris Rutger and RJ Rivera were able to do today. So it's a much needed win as we're able to kick off this season 1-0 and we can just straight up advance into week two again on the road at number three Auburn. I think if there's upsets, we know number six TCU fell. Uh, they might not be at number three, but we're certainly not going to be number 24. So we get our XP and we move up four spots to number 20. Still certainly going to be underdogs Auburn, a B plus team, likely high 80 overall, maybe in the low 90s. But they haven't played a game yet, so who knows what they're going to do. They have a little bit of tape on us, which should be a worrying. But it's definitely not going to be easy to take down the Tigers uh, on the road. Quick look here at ESPN to see who did lose, because we know that there was one big one. Uh, did anybody have a disappointing loss besides TCU? It looks like almost nobody played. There's number 11, Florida, losing to an unranked Mississippi State by a touchdown at home. And then UCF saves in the rankings, but drops down to number 25. And Wisconsin also lost. But I think they played a pretty solid team. Yeah, that's right. They almost were able to upset Oklahoma, who moves, moves up a spot. But I don't know. I mean, I get that a team in front of them lost but I don't think they're deserving of that. One last note to leave you guys with is that uh, Auburn's quarterback is the preseason Heisman favorite. So who knows what that's going to mean for us. Certainly, I'm worried about that. Unfortunately, that is going to have to do it for this episode. Again, if you're trying to help support the channel, please consider hitting the like button if you enjoyed this video. And then take a look at becoming a channel member. I'm going to continue to add perks to the channel membership stuff as I see fit because I want it to be as good of a deal as possible for you guys. After you've done that, consider hitting the subscribe button and then head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to my Twitter, our community discord, and the college football revamp mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. All that being said, though, a great start to the season, and thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster, you guys are the Grey Boys, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios!